Catherine Alenic. I'm an art instructor here at the Homer Watson House and Gallery and today I'm going to be showing you how to do block printing with styrofoam. I have some of my samples here that I've done previously. They are the lino cut ones just like this, cut out of rubber. There's also ones called puzzle printing which is where you have three different cuts and you ink it in three different colors to do a color print with the puzzle. I also have done wood carving as well, done wood carving print. So I'm going to show you step by step process on how to do the styrofoam prints. So here at Homer Watson Gallery we do a lot of styrofoam printing for after school programs with kids as well as school field trips and I'm going to go through all the things that we use for that. So first off, obviously we'll need some styrofoam. We also have the kids draw their designs on a piece of paper first. And as we go through, you see why that's important. Pencil and pen as our tools. We also have a nice professional roller for block printing. Get the ink on there really nice. We also have the ink. It's important when you're doing block printing to use actual block printing ink to do it. Block printing ink has a very tacky thickness to it, and that's why you want to use that. A palette knife to scoop out the ink. And then this is our press to roll down and press it against the ink. So these are all the supplies we're going to be using for the demo. And these are the supplies we use for our school field trips and after school classes as well. First thing we're going to do is do a sketch on the piece of paper with our pencil. And we're just going to do a simple sketch. Because we're at the Homer Watson Gallery and in honor of Homer Watson, we shall do a landscape. First thing we want to do. Start off with the horizon. I like to do a broken horizon, makes it feel like there's more depth to it. And have something in the foreground, maybe some leaves, little hay flower seeds. Then we want something in the midground, not on the horizon, but in between our foreground we did. In the midground, we did. We can do bunny, a little fluffy tail, and then we'll put something on the horizon line in the background there. Do a nice big tree. It's nice to have big things in the back and make them look small and have small things in the front and make them look big. It really forces you to have some depth and give your drawing a lot of perspective. So now with our finished sketch, we're going to take our piece of styrofoam. We're going to put the sketch on top. Take a piece of tape the tape to help secure it so it doesn't move as much while you're moving it around. Now we're going to use the pen. We want to use the pen because it's got a ballpoint tip and it won't break for this next step because this next step you have to take the pen, trace over your drawing and press down as hard as you can. Press really really hard. It's okay if you rip through the paper that's totally fine. You know you're doing a good job if your paper is ripping. You know you'll have made a nice deep dent. So here's the carving already done. You see I pressed so hard. Some of the ink came through the page onto the other side. You really want to be able to run your finger up and down and feel the nice deep groove. Really nice deep groove. Alright, let's do the inking for it now. So now we're going to put out our ink. We're going to take some of the blocking ink, use the palette knife, scoop out just a little bit. You can always go back for more. We're going to put it on this piece of paper. piece of rubber is also good to help roll it out. Any surface that you're okay with being destroyed. Now we're going to take our roller, roll it in the ink. You don't want it to be blotchy. 
if you can see there how like the ink is sticking out you want to do nice even coating on the ink roll it in all different directions now we're going to roll it onto our print here i like to start at the bottom going up and down really get those edges go back for more ink you want to do multiple layers of ink on your print let's go the other way when you're inking don't press too hard you don't want to press really really hard and get the ink in those grooves just let it glide across gently All right, so let's get our paper ready for inking. So now we have our nice printing paper. I recommend using like a cardstock paper or some watercolor paper. Usually here at Homer Watson, we're using a nice cardstock paper. Then what we're gonna do is take our print, place it in the center as much as we can, tap it down a little bit. We're gonna put another piece of paper on top this is for the roller, the roller, the press down roller gets very dirty and this piece of paper will help keep our print clean. So hard as you can, both hands. So one of the cool things about block printing is, of course, you get to have multiple prints of the carving you did. This here was my first print. A lot of block printers will discard the first print. As you can see, it's not as nice. It didn't turn out quite as black as the other two did. So that just happens sometimes in block printing, and that's totally okay. Just don't give up on the first print because first print doesn't always turn out really good. Well, you can see here with the second and third, they did. So I hope you've enjoyed this demo. We do this one again with a lot of school field trips. So if you're interested in booking field trips with Homer Watson Gallery, please let us our programmer know. We also do this for after school programs and on Saturday programs with me, Catherine Olenek, as your instructor. So we hope to see you around the gallery sometime. Bye.